<laughs> After the Purbex today, first time in a long time. Don't know what to expect, but we'll see. My legs are killing me already. Already, we've only like half a mile from the house anyway. <sighs> Apparently, 0% chance of rain today. But as you can see, it's, raining. It's, it's been raining. So, again, don't know what to expect, we'll see. <sighs> anyway, now the Sandbanks Ferry is uh, working again. Much more of a chance of, uh, of us going over the Purbex. Well, it's much easier, let's say. many people at this time of day but it'll be a nightmare getting back later and uh, we're heading over there not sure if you can actually see it but anyway, <laughs> it's a bit misty but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see what it's like but uh, I think the main thing about the Purbex route that's different about everything else we do is that it's uh, short sharp sort of rides and then it stop at a gate or rest at the top of a hill. Short, sharp downhills. Um, so not really long distance speed exercise wise, but um, some, uh, oh, what's this dog gonna do? Okay. But some good, uh, some good efforts required. Let's put it that way. We're heading out with the Dorset Grit and Gravel group, so. Let's see how many turn up and uh, and how many were put off by the early rain. But um, at the moment, it's perfectly dry, and uh, hopefully, it will stay that way. So we've got a lot of people, so um, yeah, one group's gone ahead. Uh, they're already at Corfe Castle heading out towards Swire Point, and um, we're bringing up the rear, as it were. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there are a few gates on this route, so um, to get 20 people through all the gates and stuff is just going to be a nightmare, and some of it's quite narrow, so we meet walkers, dogs, whatever. Yeah, so um, two groups, so it makes sense. And uh, Corfe Castle next. shot looking down on Corf. I should get up all the way on uh, file tyres, cyclocross tyres at 50 psi. <laughs> so I'm actually really pleased. I mean it's slow but I got up. So anyway they're all off so I better catch them up. Oh well up the other side yeah.
There's the group. Waiting for me as usual. Here comes Mr. Mountain Biker. Not so successful a climb that time. Anyway, we're up to the obelisk and uh, it was grass all the way up and just ran out of grip basically. So. Anyway, we've got another hill now. On that one got split into two groups uh, one group went ahead and the other group we took our time and um, then met up again uh, to finish the ride and it was actually pretty chill pretty good but uh, yeah it's obviously quite muddy out there it's been pretty much raining since September over here and uh, yeah pretty pretty slippery and slimy on the grass but uh, you kind of expect that and you get on with it must admit, I think I chose the wrong tyres. I was using files uh, with side knobs, and um, which was actually really fast on the road coming back. But um, yeah, there were a couple of hills that I failed to get up just because I lost traction, and um, I don't really have the talent to deal with that. So <laughs> yeah, just keep pushing until you can't go anymore, and then stop. So, but uh, anyway, that's been really good. It's been quite warm. It hasn't got cold yet. Probably will towards the end of this month and into February but uh, yeah still eight degrees still in shorts two layers nothing you know no thermals as such so yeah really good and it's great to see so many people out on the ride as well so just shows that uh, gravel riding in this area is uh, yeah it's growing you know there's more and more people doing it so it's not just the mountain bikers that you see over on the Perbex anymore which is uh, which is good I think yeah, it's good to have some variety and uh, you know we have a bit of fun with them as well you know we always overtake them on the hills going up and they always overtake us on the hills coming down with their suspension and what have you so yeah it's good fun good fun plenty of room for everyone anyway looks like we're going to be heading off in a moment And in the words of Julie Wheeler, and then there were two. So about a mile from home. A little bit of a hill to come up just to get home, but nothing too bad. And uh, actually it's turned out quite good. Looks like it's been a bit wetter here than where we've been. But uh, yeah, cool. Anyway, a couple of mechanicals today, the biggest one was uh, Darren Elbrow's bottom bracket. <laughs> yeah, so uh, bearings blew apart, lots of play. But he still managed to ride back, which was great. He got on the ferry and uh, his better half picked him up from the ferry. Just a few miles from home, actually. So uh, he didn't really miss out on anything. And uh, he works at a bike shop, so <laughs> I'm sure it's not gonna be a problem to fix. And uh, actually, done 7,000 miles on that bottom bracket, and I think that's good for a modern bike. So, the boardman he's got has actually proved to be very reliable. So, that's brilliant. Oh, here we go, up the hill. 